Assalamualaikum and a very good day to the respected lecturer, Mr. Munawar Zaman bin Shahrudin. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Nur Farisa Ali Al binti Mamak Firdaus Fu. Today, I am glad to be presenting about my first phase final year project entitled Feasibility Study of Energy Integrated Distillation Column Sequence for a Complex Distillation Process. In this presentation, I will be explaining about the abstract of this research. Next, I will briefly introduce about the research background, problem statement, objective of this research, and coverage the scope of this study. In literature review sections, I will detail explain about the theory behind conventional distillation column, driving force method, thermal pinch analysis, and also the feasibility study that will be conducted for the next semester. The process flowchart has also been prepared to provide a clear understanding about the step involved to excel in this study. The significant concern about the increasing global warming issues has brought the industry to put an initiative to study about the distillation column sequence. As reported by US Environmental Protection Agency, there are 1.22 million metric tons of carbon dioxide was released in 2013 and this is the leading factor contributing to the global warming. As we all know, distillation column has used up to 95% of energy in the refinery industry in order to separate the heavy crude oil into lighter crude oil. Hence, a comprehensive study has been conducted to determine an alternative method to practice in the distillation columns in order to increase the heat recovery and also to reduce the energy consumption. Driving force method and thermal pinch analysis method is introduced to the distillation column that runs 10 alkenes component. Lastly, Aspen Energy Analyzer and Aspen High Seas will be used to conduct the feasibility study in order to determine the best sequence to practice in the industry at the most profitable rate. The research background of this study is about distillation columns. According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration (EIA), they predicted 90% of increments of energy consumption in 2040, which is double from the current annual usage. Industries such as mining has used up to 12% of energy. Agriculture sector used up to 5% of energy. Construction sections has used up to 7% of energy and the largest energy consumption is coming from the manufacturing sector which used up to 76% of energy. In the manufacturing sector itself, 22% of the energy consumption is from the refining activities. Crude oil is a complex hydrocarbon that will be separated during the distillation phase into a sellable product. Distillation column is a separation unit found in a chemical processing plant that connected to a reboiler, condenser, and reflux drum. The significant energy consumption by this unit has been a major discussion among the industry since it used up to 95% of energy. Hence, a research has been done to determine the efficient method to reduce the energy consumption by investigating the most suitable sequencing and parameters to ensure that this unit runs at the optimal effectiveness. Problem statement This research will be conducted to determine the best method to apply on the separation process to ensure it operates at the most efficient way. Reinforced method and energy integration method by thermal pinch technology is introduced to operate this process at the minimum energy consumption rate. Next, a methodological framework is developed based on the combination of both of this method in order to determine the feasible energy integrated distillation column sequence. A case study of 10 alkenes components will be used to complete this study. At the end of this study, it is expected that this framework can be applied to various chemical components and also design. The objective of this study is to apply driving force method, thermal pinch analysis, and to prepare a feasibility study to determine the most suitable designs and number of sequence for these distillation columns to operate at the most efficient approach. Scope of study The conventional distillation columns will apply sharp separation process 
Next, Dryer Frost Technique will be applied as a method of sequencing. The design for each column will be prepared by using a shortcut and rigorous simulation which is Aspen HiSys computer software. After that, thermal pinch analysis is carried out by using problem table algorithms and Aspen Energy Analyzer to examine the energy consumption. The pinch point can be determined by assuming the minimum temperature interval that has been used in this system which is given between 5 degrees Celsius until 40 degrees Celsius. After that, feasibility study will be conducted in terms of process feasibility and also economic feasibility. For the process feasibility, we will determine the best method of sequencing, design columns and also number of columns. However, for the economic feasibility, we will calculate for the capital cost, operational cost and the payback periods. Literature review. There are four main topics that has been discussed in this study which is the first one, conventional distillation columns, driving force method, thermal pinch analysis, and also feasibility study. Firstly, let's go to the conventional distillation columns. Conventional distillation columns have a simple design configuration and the number of columns is increased according to the number of components. The sharp separation process happens when the components obtained at the outlet stream is not overlapping. The heat consumption for both of the reboiler and condenser that attach to the columns contributes to over 50% of the operational cost. The cost is higher when the component is more complex since it requires more number of columns, reboiler, condenser and utility costs. Hence, to overcome this problem, the reinforce method was introduced in this study. This method is basically a mechanism that will enhance the phase change between a mixture when brought into contact. The separation process will getting better at the high driving force rate due to the large phase difference between the boiling point and also vapor pressure of the components. The driving force rate can actually be calculated using the given formula in the slide and at the end of this step, a driving force diagram versus composition will be plotted. Thermal pinch analysis. Thermal data from the process is extracted to prepare problem table algorithms. This table is prepared during the thermal pinch analysis step in order to determine the hot and cool pinch temperature to optimize the utility consumption. The table can be constructed using several information including number of stream and its type, heat capacity and actual and shifted temperature for every hot and cold stream in the process. The given minimum temperature interval is between 5 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius which means there are possibility of increase in temperature for the cool stream and the possibility of a decrease in temperature for the hot stream. After that, the pinch point is determined by selecting the zero heat flow value at the temperature interval. Lastly, feasibility study. Process feasibility study is carried out to determine the total number of tray used in the distillation system, energy requirement for a process to complete the separation process, and the optimal reflux ratio range. However, for the economic feasibility study, this study is carried out to determine the operating costs, capital costs, total annual costs, and the total payback periods for the new distillation columns designed with driving force. This research has been carried out to determine the most appropriate sequence for distillation columns to operate 10 alkenes components. This research can be carried out according to the overall research flow chart shown in the slide. Firstly, the data for the inlet feed will be gathered for all the 10 alkenes components. This data including for their compositions, feed flow rate, temperature, pressure for each stream and also the vapor liquid equilibrium data. Then, all of the components will be arranged according to their boiling point in order to generate their conventional distillation column sequence in direct sequence. Next, driving force method is applied on the distillation columns to achieve new sequence at better heat consumption rates. The driving force curve graph is prepared to indicate the separation rate 
between each mixture. During the Thomas page analysis step, the problem table algorithms will be filled with the information gained from the Aspen Energy Analyzer including data for the enthalpy, temperature, specific heat. And then, the pinch point will be evaluated to determine the optimal heat requirements for the design sequence selections. Lastly, the feasibility study is conducted to determine the most appropriate designs for distillation columns to operate at the acceptable rate. Driving force method In order to initiate the driving force method of sequencing, all of the alkenes components need to be separated into its binary mixture according to their boiling point. Then, the driving force method or driving force rates can be calculated according to the formula mentioned before in the literature review sections. After we gain the, all the data required, the driving force curve can be constructed. After we construct the diagram for the driving force rate, the components can be arranged according to the separation rates. Other data for the column design such as total number of tray, fit inlet stage, and the reflux ratio is further calculated in order to generate the design sequence using Aspen High Seas simulations. Thermal Pinch Analysis Methodology Firstly, we need to identify the top and the bottom stream of the system. The process of analysis begins with the thermal data extractions for all stream in the system in order to construct the problem table algorithms. The temperature interval is determined to apply the minimum temperature difference for each temperature interval. When all the data required for the table is complete, the pinch point can be obtained from the maximum table. Next, the feasibility study was carried out to determine the number of tray in the system, energy requirement, optimal reflux ratio, capital cost, operational cost, total annual cost, and also the total payback periods. At last, from the feasibility study, we can determine which is the most optimum and the best sequence to apply in the distillation columns. To conclude, this presentation has explained about the theory behind conventional distillation column, drying force and thermal pinch analysis to solve the current problem related to the distillation column heat efficiency. Next, flowchart for the whole process, method to perform driving force and thermal pinch analysis is also explained to ensure that this research can be conducted smoothly for the next semester. For the next semester project, it will focus more on the result and data collections, discussion about the research outcome and to summarize all the findings for this research.